So good morning, good day, greetings, salutations, all these other things to say that, hey, y'all. So guys, today we have a fabulous show and we, we have made the decision because it was such great information that we wanted to make this into a two-part show for you. The reason is very simple. We talk internally about ways to expand not only our reach, but most importantly, our impact how we're helping people, how we can better serve people, all those things. And I'm a firm believer, and we are a firm believer here at Exit Strategies Radio Show, that we should service the whole man. We will have fun with you, but we will talk to your spirit. We will talk to your physical. We will talk to your mental. But we realize that in all of that, we also, because of this show where our emphasis and focus is on financial literacy and real estate education, we're going to talk to your money. And today's show, as well as our following week's show, guys, is going to be an interview with Eric Simonson. So you'll hear us introduce him and talk about who he is, what he does, and how he helps and services people. But it's extremely important that you all pay attention because oftentimes we operate from a limiting and limited belief. We believe that because we don't see, that we can't. We believe that because others have, that we can't. And all those are limits. And we know where limitations come from because our God is boundless. He can and will make a difference. He can and will change the narrative. However, he will not flip the page in your story to allow you to write a new chapter if you want to talk about the same thing you just did before. So you have to change as well, guys. Your narrative, if you want it to be different, then in turn, you must tell a different story. You must live a different story. You must encourage a different story. You know, it was told to me recently, guys, that inspiration without installation is a waste of resources. If you are inspired by what we talk about here at this show, but you do nothing, nothing to make that a part of your life, it was a waste of resources. If you are inspired by the stories that we share, if you're inspired by the things that you see and hear others do that are building wealth, creating opportunities, furthering legacy for them and their families, and you don't do something to do the same for yours, that is a waste of resources. Why did you go hear the story if you weren't going to be inspired? Why are you inspired, but you won't act? A waste of resources. So we want to encourage you here today, here on this show, to do different. See, our goal, our ambition, our drive here is to be greater. We want to see you achieve greater. And we cannot do that by remaining in the same place. Change is hard. Getting out of your comfort zone is difficult. But if you're willing to, if you're willing to not only listen, but hear. See, our scripture tells us that Hearing the word of God does something. So if you will not only listen, but you will hear what our speakers, our guests are sharing with you. If you will internalize that and apply it, you will see greater. You will see different. You will create wealth. You will build legacy. You will make a difference not only in your lifetime, but for generations yet to come in your family. So you all know what our mantra is. It's easy. We're legacy building. That's what we do. We talk about financial literacy and we talk about real estate 
And we talk about how we can put those two things together and create and build a vehicle that will carry you much further than what just the labor of your hands will do, than what just the physical labor that you exchange in return for money will do. We teach you how to make your money make money. So today on this show, I want you to pay attention again. I want you to listen. I want you to tune in next week for part two. And I want you to apply. Remember, inspiration without installation is a waste of resources. I love you. I love you. I love you. And let's get this show started. Good morning, good morning, and good morning, guys. Welcome to another fabulous episode of Exit Strategies Radio Show. I am your host. That is me, Corwin J. Millett, broker and owner of Exit Realty Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina, guys. Hey, if this is your first time listening to this show, look, I don't know about you, but that intro music always gets me going. But if this is your first time listening to this show, guys, you are in for a treat because our mission here is very, very, very simple. And that is to empower our community through financial literacy and real estate education. So we have been, and you all know it because y'all been hearing me talk about it. I'm super excited about it because we've been out here in the field. We've been casting a net wide because we want to bring you all the best guests to give you the best information so that you can live your best life. And we understand and we realize that while finances are an aspect of it, we want to service the whole man here. So we want to speak to your spirit, but we also got to talk to your money. So with all of that said, we are super duper excited today to introduce to you Eric Simonson, CEO of a bundle. Look here, when I saw a bundle, I said, wait a minute, that is abundance, but a Bundo well. Eric, how are you doing today? Corwin, I am fantastic. I wish I could wake up every morning and have somebody fire me up like that. That was fantastic. Well, look, I just want you to know I'm always available. So if you need to call me in the morning, get you a dose of energy, look here, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to set that as my recording for my alarm and we're going to do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So Eric, look, you know, we were talking before coming in studio. Look, you have an amazing, amazing story. But beyond that, you do impressive and amazing work. And I don't want to steal your thunder. I want you to first start by giving our listeners kind of a high level. Who is Eric? And what is a bundle? Yeah, okay. So who am I? I am just a regular person out there trying to do good work, right? Like you. And I'm hoping to also inspire people, also some of your listeners as well, to follow their dreams because that's what I did. So I had an idea about four years ago that there was a huge percentage of the population that just did not have access to high quality financial advice. They just couldn't afford to work with a financial advisor or that financial advisor just didn't want to work with them. And so they were going to the internet, they were going to brother-in-laws, right? And getting financial advice. And that wasn't always working out for them the right way. And I was frustrated because in my current job as a financial planner, I'd been doing it for gosh, at that point, I'd been doing it for about 10 years. I thought, you know, I really want to help these people. I looked around at my friends, my neighbors, and as much as I wanted to, I couldn't work with them because the firm I worked at, we had a minimum requirement where in order for us to give you advice, you have to have had $500,000 of investable assets. Okay. So we had to turn people away left and right. I thought, well, that's silly, right? That's, those are potential customers. And then I also thought about what about those people who maybe have $500,000, but don't want to pay the fees that we were charging, which is industry average, right? Charging about 1% a year mm -hmm. of that investable pile of money saying, Hey, you have $500,000. Okay. We're going to charge you $5,000 a year for advice. Mm -hmm. There's also a large chunk of people who didn't want to pay that. And so I thought, gosh, you know, this seems like an opportunity here where I could help more people and also form a different sort of compensation model that is a little more transparent, a little more fair to the average consumer. So launched a bundo in 2019, really with the idea of just trying to give access 
and financial advice to everyone, not turn away a single soul. If you're able to afford our low transparent monthly fee, we want to give you the best advice we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And people immediately took to that. We grew like crazy and we're, we haven't looked back since. Do you want something more? I mean, more meaningful moments, opportunities, deeper relationships, and memorable experiences. Do you want to make a difference? If you said yes to any of that, a career in real estate could be the opportunity you're looking for. Guiding people through one of the most important decisions they ever make, the purchase or sale of their home, could be both rewarding and lucrative for you. Exit Realty's revolutionary compensation model, training and technology provide you with the tools and resources you need to start and build your successful real estate career. Call Exit Realty Low Country Group today at 843-619-3005. That is 843-619-3005. Or visit join.exitlowcountry.com and make your exit today. So, I'm going to say this, Eric, and about people with advice, and this is for our listeners, because you said it, but you didn't say it the way I'm about to say it. We are out here at the kitchen table talking to everybody. Sometimes you don't want your family to know. So then you at the lunch table, out with friends or whatever, you're researching things randomly on the internet, but then you in social media, randomly taking rant ideas and trying to apply that to your situation. And the challenge with that is, uh, well, I think, and Eric, please correct me if you disagree, but the challenge with that is you're taking financial advice from people, number one, whose money don't look like yours. And sometimes you think their money look better than yours, so you're taking advice from them in hopes that your money will, but you may be going the opposite direction because their money might not look like yours. It might look worse, which means that you might have money that look worse than what you think you got, go to the professional. So Eric, what yeah. do you say about that? I think you're hundred percent right. And we saw the consequences of that in the last couple of years too, where GameStop, Bed Bath & Beyond, who wasn't talking about those stocks two and a mm -hmm. half years ago. Mm -hmm. One of those companies is now bankrupt. The mm -hmm. other one stock is down 70, 80% or whatever it's down. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency was a very popular topic of conversation. You know, the entire cryptocurrency market has lost 70% of its value in the last wow. year and a half. Like there were some real dire consequences with following the advice of the hot topic of the day. So yes, I would say be wary if I like to think if everybody, and I would love to get your take on this about six months ago, I had every single client coming to me saying, Eric, I want to buy a real estate property and rent it on Airbnb. Mm. I, honestly, every single person said that. And I thought to myself, gosh, if everybody wants to do it, maybe now is not that maybe like really be strategic about thinking about is now when you want to get in. So I think there's this herd mentality that you just got to really watch out for. And yes, having somebody that knows you, right? I know Corwin, I know his goals. I know what he wants to do for his family. I know what he, where he wants to leave a legacy, right? I can give you the best advice because I know the whole person. I don't just know, oh, he's got $10,000. He's looking for a hot stock idea. Mm -hmm. You know, that's interesting to say that. And, and it's interesting that you put, you define the term, which I've heard, I know it, but I haven't applied it, which is the herd mentality. So we follow as a group, it's like sheep. And mm -hmm. sometimes you are led, I mean, we hope that you're led off to, you know, greener pastures, but sometimes the herd is moving towards the slaughterhouse. And, you know, we saw that, unfortunately, with crypto. I remember so many times I had conversations, people trying to call me or, hey, you should be doing this, you should be doing this. And I'm like, well, help me to understand what's the basis. Because all I see is I know my teaching says that money is a currency, it's ebb and flow. But outside of that, it is the exchange between people and it's based upon something they both equally value. Yeah. Crypto is not valued by everyone. So the people right. that don't value crypto, it has no worth to them, no value to them at all all so not saying anything negative about that or about trading that but you have to trade it with people who are interested in it and trying to make someone interested in it and believe in it and invest in it may not be 
because you know we gold silver precious metals all those kind of things is what we oftentimes see as a basis country to country as far as their money goes their currency goes i mean i'm talking to the experts so i need to come back around and instead of saying it i need to ask this question let's talk about that and i'm gonna get to the airbnb thing as well because i got a lot about that too but what are you seeing that people are doing in this current space eric that you just when you look at it like no you shouldn't be doing that oh uh -oh. That's, that's a tough one. Cause you know, we're putting a timestamp on this conversation, so I'm going to say it right. And then we okay. could look back in a year and be like, wow, that looks dumb, Eric. You, you probably <laughs> should have agreed with the herd, but what I'm seeing, I'll put some context around this. I think almost every client, we work with hundreds and hundreds of clients across the country and we're growing rapidly. I think that the vast majority of them right now are very, very, very scared about the market. Mm -hmm. Vast majority of them are really hesitant to take on kind of the normal level of risk that somebody would have taken for years. And I think people are also holding on to maybe a little bit more cash than normal. And traditionally that those are things you don't want to do. If you've got money to invest, you invest it. You want to be risk appropriate. If you're young, you want to be taking on a little bit more risk. And, and those behaviors are just not quite aligning right now. And so I think that's the herd mentality is everybody's waiting for a big, big, big crash. And it might come. It certainly might come, but it's hard to predict that. It's hard to time that. It's hard to predict that. And so making some real big financial decisions off of that hunch is hard. And I'm seeing a lot of that. 